Hey guys, all right, I'm back again today. I'm a little under the weather, so sorry if I'm sniffling. Probably gonna be a lot of sniffling, so it's all good. Um, so I think I'm gonna do a video. I'm kind of just going in haphazardly with this because I don't know why not. I I got the I got blocks recently. I updated to Reactor Six. I'm not gonna do it on blocks, but. I've been like playing around with it a lot and it's been kind of changing the way I've been making sounds and stuff too, which I like a lot, but it's also, I don't know if this is really common. I haven't actually really seen it anywhere. So that's why I wanted to show you. And it's kind of the way I've been using de the delay and man, I should, oh, I could probably pull up an example. I, I've been saving a couple of the patches I made so I can show you that. And then we can kind of, no, not a drum rack instrument. Rack. Reactor. Hmm. Which one is it? Dark. God damn it. I'm just. I've just been like haphazardly naming things, which is not good. Let's go with. Oh, I know. I wrote death. Let's go with death sound. It probably has it, though. We'll find out. Where is the rest of it? Oh, it doesn't even save the sound. That is some bullshit. You have to actually save it in Reactor. That's depressing. Okay, well, I guess we're going to start from scratch. So, I guess we'll do a video on Reactor blocks and this delay thing. So, we're going to start fucking around here. I've also been playing around a lot with the idea uh, with FM synthesis, but in this thing, which I feel like I've been missing out for a long time on this. So let's see, we need to go to edit. So if you haven't played with blocks yet, it's pretty fun. I feel like it's gonna what I'm what I'm gonna use a lot now. Um, I haven't I haven't been able to stop playing with it for the past few days. So we're gonna go to library. If you go to blocks, there's create or blocks new. That's gonna set you up with like an initialized patch. You have to hit edit. That way you can actually start getting in here and doing things. We're not gonna use these three. I don't need a macro knob. Don't need switches, don't need scope. I want my node in. I don't think I'm gonna use a MIDI clock either. I don't think I'm gonna use sequencers on this one. So we're gonna get rid of that. Um, go to library, reactor blocks, and then you got all your stuff here. There's also, um, the reactor community is really big. So I actually already downloaded uh, this other reactors block thing that has all these other uh, ma blocks that were made by the reactor community and this these all came from one guy and man it's really cool I'm excited to see what else comes out so that being said uh, I'm pretty new to I, I did a one on the on the max for cats I never really got into it past the video I did I just I don't know it was I just couldn't get what I wanted out of it but this, you can get a lot of great sounds. Like I couldn't get this kind of shit out of Max for Cats. I just, I just don't think the algorithms from the stuff that you were working with were as good. So anyways, we're gonna start with the bento box stuff and build it from there. So we need a voltage, we need we need an amp VCA, which is voltage, voltage controlled amplifier. We're gonna use a mixer cause we're gonna use four oscillators cause I'm gonna do FM synthesis. We're gonna use where I need I'm gonna use four oscillators. One. We'll name this one. This will make it easier. That way I know where we're at. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Come back here. Organize a little bit. That's four. This is three. Okay, that's my mixer. Move my mixer here. Put my amplifier over here. I want to get delay because that's what I originally was going to show you. And uh, throw a reverb. Might use that too. This is actually from rounds like these, these, and you can actually they have Monarch too, so you can get like you can use Monarch's filter, you can dot envelope from Monarch, and the Mono Monarch oscillator you can use, which is fucking awesome. Um, I like <coughs> this filter is fucking awesome. It gets really gritty. 
I use it a lot. Um, let's see, so what else do we need? We're gonna go pitch in here. Cause this is where your note comes in from right here. This little box. This guy, note in. So that's gonna bring your note in. It's gonna basically read from your keyboard or whatever. So you're gonna send out your pitch to all of these. Hopefully I don't fuck this up as we're doing this, but so I'm still like getting the hang of it and I, I tend to make I make mistakes sometimes. Um This is a pretty typical simple setup, so I guess we're using four oscillators, but it's I mean it just picture only using one. You don't need the mixer on if you only use one. So this is gonna send the pitch information into all these oscillators. I'm gonna send the sign out into the FM modulation on this one, and I'm gonna send the sign out on this one into this one to modulate the FM on this one. And then I'm gonna send the sign out on this one to send it into there, and boom. So basically, the oscillator is gonna send a sign signal out to the FM input, which is here on each one of these. So this one's going into this one, this one's going into that one. If you don't use the FM, it's just gonna sound normal, but let me get it all hooked up first and we'll go over it after. So here's my mixer. We have four oscillators, so we need a mixer to, to put mix them all together. So I'm gonna go output into one, output this one into two, output into three, output into four, and then we're gonna go, where do we wanna go into next? Oh, I need an, an, I need an envelope. Where is it at? I feel like I might feel like I'm gonna fuck this up. Okay, a gate's gonna go like here. Yeah, and then I'm gonna I don't even know if I need to go in the gate there. See this is where I, I, I still am getting used to doing this and I still fuck up from time to time. Um Okay, I know this is gonna go out and mod, mod the VCA, so we can change that. Um, but we're gonna go output out of the mixer into this, and then we're gonna output into the VCA, and then we'll go. We'll leave the effects off for now, so we're just gonna go straight into get to our output. So we should have not sound yet because I don't know these turned up. This one's up. Oh, it's because I haven't. That's right. I got to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna put this ADSR envelope in front of that. I'm gonna put my filter past <coughs> there. I'm gonna put my effects. Leave them down here. So now what I need to do. Can't hear anything because this isn't turned up. But we actually want the the amp envelope to control this. So what I'm gonna do is click A. And this because I actually hooked up this into the output of this into the mod A, so the modulation A input. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that up. And now it actually controls it with this amp envelope. So now it's basically a typical synthesizer. <laughs> and it's all set up. So I'm gonna go in and start playing with stuff. I'm gonna make only right now is only once turned up, so the output. I'm going to have to change something really quick so I can control this. Come on, motherfucker. Cool. All right, we're good. Just from one oscillator. I actually kind of like the long. Alright, let's turn up the second one.
this is putting pitching it up an octave and then this is just incense to give it a little detune mm, turn that down and then go Since I've started doing this, I've started making way more dissonant sounds than I ever have before. It actually gets a little tricky though because I'm starting to like stuff that's so dissonant that it, it almost it's like kind of doesn't even really stay in key, so it gets a little difficult. I'll have to see where it takes me. It's only been a couple of days of me playing with this, so it should be interesting to see kind of where like my creative process goes. But anyways, let's get back to this. stick with that for now. So this filter gets pretty gritty, especially with the resonance up. stuff you're going to get out of this is interesting. Disregard the people talking in the background. Their roommates are fucking retarded. So, God damn it. Shut up. I'm pretty sure they're all, I, I'm not even going to get into it. Anyways, okay. So we're going to go to the delay. We're going to output from the delay. I'm going to ask them to just stop talking in case it's really loud because this microphone picks up everything. All right. Try this again. Um, let's see. Where was I? Uh, I need my keyboard. Let's get in front of me. Okay. This is kind of where it gets interesting, and I'm really exploring this right now. It's a little tough, I think, to get what you want out of it. I'm still struggling to get, because it you really, it, it gets, like, even with this already, this is really, really cool. It's really dissonant. It definitely gets a little more difficult to maintain 
I don't I mean just being able to write other stuff around it and like I said I'm still exploring it and trying to figure out the line where I can get dissonant and still like maintain you know be able to write a song around it because I'm struggling with that right now so but these are just ideas you can play with too especially if you have this you can really do it with anything I guess if you have an FM synth but um so here we go with the delay so I'm gonna turn it down I've been turning the feedback up a lot and then I kind of start bringing it down and like I said I've never I'm sure I know people do this I've heard it but I've just never really seen it done in a video either so <laughs> like weird harmonics and they're kind of hard to tame but they add a lot of character especially in atmospheric stuff that I've been playing with um, I've been kind of adding also been running the reverb in let's see creating a lot of depth and harmonics and it's really interesting um, like I'll try to put something down and then see if I can like, get a baseline under it uh, usually it takes me longer to kind of get because you kind of like I said I'm pretty new to doing this FM thing a bit I, I feel like I just haven't gotten the heavy into it and it's like different with this even from when I've used the FM8 it, I don't know I'm getting different harmonics you just get a lot of like stuff going on in it. You have to like find the line where you can still like write shit around it. So um, let me see. I I also really like how the sounds like constantly move too. They don't. They're not like stagnant sounding. They're they have like the like this. I don't know what the word is. Um, if you listen to it, like because all the oscillators are like you know they're used doing FM synthesis. They're Mod the oscillate the oscillators modulating the oscillator and creating new harmonics. It just has this like constant like pulsing. The, the like sounds it sounds like it's pulsing. That's the good word. So let's see. Not nine hundred ninety nine. That's way too fast.
quick freeze. Let's see if I can get a massive going on. So you, I, I guess the point of me originally was to show you the delay thing, which I guess you sit, you did see kind of like the really, really short delay and it creates, I can even do it on top of this too and add more probably, even with just using simple delay. And I know, I'm sure this is a thing and I've just not really done it before for some reason. You get like the feedback up, the delay up and you start doing really short times. Ooh, it's already there. baseline really quick really fast square square just go up 19 <coughs> oh shit <coughs> I'm accidentally sending to that.
just gets really, really dissonant. So it gets tr difficult. Like I was saying earlier, you kind of have to find the line. Like it works, but I th if I I need to build like other harmonics around it that are a little more stable and can complement it, which I think that's really where I, I need to work on right now to get this to work better. Um, much longer this video is gonna be. I'm just gonna play with something for a minute and see if it's cool or not. Contact I think contact is what I need. No. <coughs> I think I needed something else. Nope. Uh, I can't remember. No contact is what I wanted. Yeah. Legato strings. <laughs> I start on E. call that a victory for this video um, you kind of got an idea I guess you got to learn a little bit about blocks so that's cool if you haven't used it yet um, you got to kind of see what I was talking about with the delay thing um, it really creates kind of metallic kind of overlays and especially when you do it in reactor and you put <coughs> the reverb after and if you kind of have like a nice release time on it as well the, the harmonics kind of stay and they can get a little too dissonant I guess it really depends on what you like in your ear but someone that is just an average listener is going to hear that and probably be like what is this shit so you know if you're depends what you're looking for do you want to just write some weird eccentric shit for yourself go for it make some weird noises I mean whatever you want to do just keep in mind though that you know some people as my piano teacher says, when you get too complex and you have jazz and no one likes it. So, um, 
anyways, so then, yeah, we went to Massive, put a bass in, and then these strings actually worked really well, and I think it was like a nice, stable complement to the instability of this sound. So let's play, well, let's take the bass out, let's play these two. it for this video today hope this helped wonder how long it is 30 oh shit it's 30 30 minutes cool all right well 30 minute video hope you enjoyed it all right see ya